Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel Beck Treks Australia. In this video I'm on the Overland Track Tasmania and this is day six. So at this stage this is my last day on track I will be heading from Narcissus Hut back to Cynthia Bay which is where the Lake St. Clair Visitor Centre is and the finishing point for the Overland Track. So my partner and I decided to double hut yesterday so we are on our sixth day as opposed to our planned seventh day so we uh, were able to cut that down because you know otherwise we would just do a nine kilometer day and that's just too short so today it's a 17.5 kilometer day relatively flat surface through forest uh, with minimal use of the uh, duckboard or plank board so today the scenery will vary from natural australian scrub through to the mystical forests again uh, this is a field of button grass very shortly after departing the uh, Narcissus hut area. This is Lake St. Clair, the first opportunity we've been able to stand on the beach and you can see the boat in the distance. Uh, now that is always an option from Narcissus hut. You can go down a pathway to a little jetty area. You can catch the ferry. They depart from Narcissus Hut at 9.45, 1.15 and 3.45. Uh, that has to be pre-booked. I believe you book through the campsite area at Lake St. Clair. Uh, it's $50 per adult or $25 per child and it is essential to book prior. So this is just more forage, forest footage. You can see it is much like the previous couple of days. Very easy walking, very flat. It's just a good day to relax and really uh, enjoy the beauty of the trail. Not too much further on along the track, we do come up to the Echo Point Hut. This hut sleeps only eight people. It is a tight squeeze. It is much like the old Pelion Hut in, uh, in our previous episode I visited. Uh, there was very few campsites just outside and water collection is from lake from the lake uh, lake st clair so my partner and i decided we'd have quick uh, lunch out on the jetty area it is a very spectacular view from here a little bit fogged in but we're glad the clouds lifted for us uh, when we stopped for our lunch otherwise it has been spitting for quite a, mo a major part of the day you see our water bottles uh, the red and the uh, blue one, my favourite uh, flavours from the uh, electrolyte sh sachets I had. So you can see I've just got a few more pictures of uh, beautiful scenery. A little picture of a bumblebee I snapped there. Uh, beautiful ferns and forest. Sometimes it mixes in with some eucalyptus trees depending on the area that we're in. All in all, the Overland Track, I guess, has been extremely enjoyable. My partner, I absolutely loved it. Uh, it's a great environment to meet new people. If you are traveling alone, everyone's very friendly out on the track. And you do have volunteers or rangers that are monitoring the track and checking that you do arrive if you are hiking in the uh, season where you do need to pay fees. So uh, your safety, you know, so you're well, well looked after on the trail. Every campsite does have a helipad and I've noticed that in the past someone has had to be uh, uh, medically evacuated. Uh, so you see just in these pictures of triangles, they're generally the triangles you're sort of following for most of the track. So you've got to keep an eye out for them but the paths, you know, it's been very well uh, marked or very cleared so you, you won't get lost on this track. So. Um, a map I wouldn't say is essential, however it is good so you can get an idea of where you are in the event of an emergency. I yes, especially recommend if you do uh, to take a map in the winter when it is snowed in. There is a possibility you could lose a trail in that instance. So you can see we just transitioned out of the beautiful forest, the rainforest with the moss, uh, we're now back into natural Australian scrub and the transition is instant. Like you can see it just happened uh, within a span of a couple of meters. So we're getting on towards the end of the track, crossing the river and then we're sort of back into the uh, Lake St. Clair Visitor Centre area. 
Uh, there is an option to sleep at Fergie's Paddock, which is about 10 minutes away from Cynthia Bay, right near the uh, visitor center. So if you do want to do another camp there uh, for an extra night, you know, go there, it is a nice spot. And that's it. That is the end of the Overland Track. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, and if you want to see some more videos from me, do subscribe. Just a side note, when you do get to Lake St. Clair, uh, there are hot showers there for 10 minutes for free. And uh, there's also a registry book. It's very important that you uh, do register that you have arrived.